Hi everybody, it's Phil here from Sheldon Bosley Knight and we've got a property tour for you. We're on Hayloft Way. Hayloft Way is the new development, Taylor Wimpy development. House we're going to is the one directly behind me just there. It's a four bedroomed detached house. It's got the extra reception room downstairs creating the study and um, it's got loads and loads of extras on it. It's tucked away lovely, just off the main sort of road here. The new development is only just about 12 to 18 months old. There's gonna be some changes just heading down this direction, which I'll show you in a moment, so you can see where the main access is. But it's a great spot. You've got the A5 just a little way, just at the back. Higham Lane is just down here. So road links are obviously fantastic. You're going to have great amenities. There's a school being built just down the way as well. And we've got an absolutely lovely, lovely house to show you. So let's turn the camera around, show you a little bit about what we've got going on here. And we'll have a tour around. There is the front of the house. As you can see, it's got the sort of the anthracite, dark grey PVC, not only to the windows and the door, but you've also got the roofing sort of fascia soffits guttering just there. If I pan back a little bit, you've got a couple of houses just to the side and a couple just heading down that way. The current access is here and left on Windrower close and then out onto the A5. That will change just where that white van's come down there, just a little bit further down and to the left where the other flags are is going to be the main access. Currently got a dead end sort of situation just there and that will change no doubt over the next sort of few years but that just gives you a real good idea of where we're situated just here it's a little bit blustery the sun's out it's a beautiful day but it's a bit blustery so hopefully you got that just have a look at the side so you can see down here as well tandem length driveway plenty of parking there our client parks on the front as well just here but that's where we go in let's get in number 27 I said to you, lots and lots of extras to the house. Hopefully you heard that one. Starts initially with the full flooring. It's a real nice high spec sort of flooring. Got the oak style um, painted doors. Um, very, very smartly done. There's a lot been spent on, on the extras. Glazed doors then into the dining kitchen and to the, the lounge sort of section here. You've got just a shallow sort of storage cupboard just there. The biggest um, utility WC, it's very, very handy. You've got a washing machine or tumble dry space in here, some shelving, and then it's quartz work surface and the matching up stands that are in there. Inset lighting, which isn't your normal. Study in here, really handy. Obviously you've got twin desks in there at the moment. Doesn't used to be need, sorry, doesn't need to be used as a study. Could be another, so the sitting area, playroom, however you wish to set it up. The lounge then is on the front. It's got this beautiful bay window at the front, lots of light that comes through. The front of the property actually points um, more in sort of the, the, the southerly sort of direction there, as you can see, there is south. The sun is absolutely glaring through here. The house is immaculate all the way through. You've got these sort of light, silvery and um, gray carpets through there and then if we work our way through then a couple of options that brings you back through then to your double doors there you've got this fantastic space big open sort of plan area inset ceiling spotlights are on you've got the patio doors out there to the rear garden and then heading over into this direction just going to pop some lights on it's got the under counter lighting, there's plinth lighting, this flooring is lovely. You have an integrated tall fridge freezer, the double oven, cupboards above and below. This is a pull out tall drawer, sort of racking unit. There's then the dishwasher that's in there as well. Quartz work surfaces, as you can see, they've got a bit of shine, sparkle, pizzazz to them. And the boilers in the corner, just there as well there you go really really good space lovely order as i've said so we'll pop upstairs you've got four double bedrooms up here 
spacious landing. Big storage cupboard just in here. There's the landing. And then we'll work our way into the main bedroom. This one's on the front. Extras again. Five door wardrobe in there. As you can see, the ensuite then is fully tiled. You wouldn't normally get that. It's all kitted out, inset lighting, all very smart. Tiled floor again. And then you've got another big double bedroom on the front, just here. There's more fitted wardrobes. There's a four door room on that one. Lovely big room again. Bedroom three, again, triple wardrobe in this one. Good size. That's quite a big desk in here, so that's decent. And then bedroom four has also got, this one's an L-shaped room, but it's got the double wardrobe in again. And just there. So that just leaves then the bathroom, which is here, more extras, tiled floor, fully tiled walls, inset lighting, all the things that you don't normally get in a new house. Let's get downstairs, gonna show you the garden. We've just come outside then, as you can see where we're situated just here, got a nice size garden. There's lots of scope and potential still to just finish off the garden, maybe some extra patio and whatnot. But it's a nice size. You've then got the access into the side of the garage as well, just there. Just the one house at the back there, and there's our back of our house. So, right, I'm gonna turn the camera around, let's tell you a little bit more. There you go, just come back towards the top end of the garden there, just so you've got the main house just in the background, just here. It's quite a nice size garden actually here. It's, it, it's, it's very, very good. So it's half past two in the afternoon now. The sun is just going to head over that direction. The sun will set over there, which is westerly, which means the sun will raise, will absolutely flood through to the side of the garden there. So it's a really great position. Sun on the front in the morning and then later on in the afternoon through onto the back garden. Absolutely brilliant. Road location or road position here is great. You've got obviously the A5, which is just a short distance that way in front of us, just pointing that way. You've got Highham Lane there, so very easy access into the town. Straight off the A5, obviously you can head that way towards Atherstone, Tamworth, Polesworth. So you've got Ventura Park, obviously just down the road, you can head that way then towards Hinkley. So it's a really, really great spot and position here. Now, situation obviously on, on this one, it's just about to go to the market. Um, we're getting that sort of up and running and sorted very, very shortly. The asking price is £365,000 and hopefully you'll agree with me. Loads and loads of extras on the house. Lots of extras that you wouldn't normally get on a property. And just to give you an idea, brand new now, and this house is only 12, 18 months old, brand new, these are way over £400,000 today. The asking price with this one is £365,000. Owners are keen to sell, looking to get it done, and certainly worth coming to have a look at. So have a look online, the brochures, the spec sheets, floor plans, etc., will be on there. We'll get this video launched just before it hits the main portals. But let us know if you want to come and have a look, and uh, we look forward to showing you around here. Don't forget, keep subscribing to our page. There'll be a YouTube link here. Click it, you'll see new properties on this page before they get launched to the main portals. So thanks for watching, and do take care. Bye-bye.